Chapter 50 This is what the Lord says, Where is your mother's certificate of divorce with which I sent her away? Or to which of my creditors did I sell you? Because of your sins you were sold because of your transgressions your mother was sent away. When I came, why was there no one? When I called, why was there no one to answer? Was my arm too short to deliver you? Do I lack the strength to rescue you? By a mere rebuke I dry up the sea, I turn rivers into a desert their fish rot for lack of water and die of thirst. I clothe their heavens with darkness and make sackcloth its covering. The Sovereign Lord has given me a well-instructed tongue, to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. The Sovereign Lord has opened my ears I have not been rebellious, I have not turned away. I offered my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. Because the Sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore have I set my face like flint, and I know I will not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who then will bring charges against me? Let us face each other. Who is my accuser? Let him confront me. It is the Sovereign Lord who helps me. Who will condemn me? They will all wear out like a garment the moths will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the word of his servant? Let the one who walks in the dark, who has no light, trust in the name of the Lord and rely on their God. But now, all you who light fires and provide yourselves with flaming torches, go, walk in the light of your fires and of the torches you have set ablaze. This is what you shall receive from my hand, you will lie down in torment. Chapter 51 Listen to me, you who pursue righteousness and who seek the Lord, look to the rock from which you were cut and to the quarry from which you were hewn. Look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah, who gave you birth. When I called him he was only one man, and I blessed him and made him many. The Lord will surely comfort Zion and will look with compassion on all her ruins he will make her deserts like Eden, her wastelands like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving and the sound of singing. Listen to me, my people hear me, my nation, instruction will go out from me my justice will become a light to the nations. My righteousness draws near speedily, my salvation is on the way and my arm will bring justice to the nations. The islands will look to me and wait and hope for my arm. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, look at the earth beneath the heavens will vanish like smoke, the earth will wear out like a garment and its inhabitants die like flies. But my salvation will last forever, my righteousness will never fail. Hear me, you who know what is right, you people who have taken my instruction to heart, do not fear the reproach of mere mortals or be terrified by their insults. For the moth will eat them up like a garment the worm will devour them like wool. But my righteousness will last forever, my salvation through all generations. Awake, awake, arm of the Lord, clothe yourself with strength. Awake, as in days gone by, as in generations of old. Was it not you who cut Rahab to pieces? who pierced that monster through? Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, who made a road in the depths of the sea so that the redeemed might cross over? Those the Lord has rescued will return. They will land your Zion with singing everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you that you fear mere mortals? human beings who are but grass. That you forget the Lord your Maker, who stretches out the heavens and who lays the foundations of the earth, that you live in constant terror every day because of the wrath of the oppressor, who is bent on destruction. For where is the wrath of the oppressor? The cowering prisoners will soon be set free they will not die in their dungeon, nor will the lack bread. For I am the Lord your God who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar the Lord Almighty is his name. I have put my words in your mouth and covered you with the shadow of my hand I who set the heavens in place, who laid the foundations of the earth, and who say to Zion, You are my people. Awake, awake! Rise up, 
Jerusalem, you who have drunk from the hand of the Lord the cup of his wrath, you who have drained to its dregs the goblet that makes people stagger. Among all the children she bore there was none to guide her among all the children she reared there was none to take her by the hand. These double calamities have come upon you who can comfort you. A ruin and destruction, famine and sorrow who can console you? Your children have fainted they lie at every street corner, like antelope caught in a net. They are filled with the wrath of the Lord, with the rebuke of your God. Therefore hear this, you afflicted one, made drunk, but not with wine. This is what your sovereign Lord says, your God, who defends his people, see, I have taken out of your hand the cup that made you stagger from that cup, the goblet of my wrath, you will never drink again. I will put it into the hands of your tormentors, who said to you, A fall prostrate that we may walk on you. And you made your back like the ground, like a street to be walked on. Chapter 52 Awake, awake, Zion, clothe yourself with strength. Put on your garments of splendor, Jerusalem, the holy city. The uncircumcised and defiled will not tempt you again. Shake off your dust rise up. Sit enthroned, Jerusalem. Free yourself from the chains on your neck, daughter Zion, now a captive. For this is what the Lord says, you were sold for nothing, and without money you will be redeemed. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, at first my people went down to Egypt to live lately, Assyria has oppressed them. And now what do I have here? declares the Lord. For my people have been taken away for nothing and those who rule them mock, declares the Lord. And all day long my name is constantly blasphemed. Therefore my people will know my name therefore in that day they will know that it is I who foretold it. Yes, it is I. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen. Your watchmen lift up their voices together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will labor his holy arm in the sight of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. Depart, depart, go out from there. Touch no unclean thing. Come out from it and be pure, you who carry the articles of the Lord's house. But you will not leave in haste or go in flight for the Lord will go before you, the God of Israel will be your rear guard. See, my servant will act wisely he will be raised and lifted up and highly exalted. Just as there were many who were appalled at him his appearance was so disfigured beyond that of any human being and his form marred beyond human likeness. So he will sprinkle many nations, and kings will shut their mouths because of him. For what they were not told, they will see, and what they have not heard, they will understand.